One of the biggest things you can do with your one shot color camera is to actually pull a luminance layer off of your image. You can use this layer to help resolve more fine details and structure in all of your image. I'm Chad. This is the Easy Astro Images channel, and we are going to play with some photons today. So what we have here is we have our stretched image of the boogie band here, and I'm getting all of my files ready so I can convert all these and take them over into infinity photo where we can really start playing with all of these layers and all that stuff. If you don't want to do that, you can also do some of this inside of PixInsight using the image blend script that is available in here. Maybe we can go through that real quick just to show you how all of that works. So what we have right here is a stretched, denoised, really flat, nice type image that we push the stretch on very hard. And if you haven't seen what I'm talking about, check this video link right here. And if it's not there yet, it's because I thought that this was more important to demonstrate beforehand. But that's how things roll. I'm not a professional. I'm just here to act like one. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and click this little button up here, which is going to extract the luminance. Now, luminance is typically, you know, it's in every image, but typically it's going to be associated with, uh, you know, running a different kind of filter inside of like a mono type of camera. So we've already stretched this and everything, and it has been denoised and all that stuff. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're going to run another run of noise exterminator on this just to clean this stuff up as much as possible. Because what we're going to do is just kind of blow the detail up on this thing. But we want it to be as clean as possible. So once this gets done running, we are very, very clean, you can see. And what we're going to do is open up the actual curves tool here. And there's no really right or wrong way to do this. So we'll open up an actual real-time preview. I like to use the not the linear interpretation here or the default. I like to use uh, cubic spline here. And I want to find the actual darkest part. And that looks like it's going to be right here. And I'm going to put a couple points here just to pin this down so it doesn't make any adjustments. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to just lift all of the detail everywhere else. And keep an eye on your really bright areas. Make sure we don't go any further. As you can see here, we are already up to like the 0.9s, which means that we're kind of overblown there already. But that's all right. We can worry about that down the road. So we'll go ahead and apply all that to that and go ahead and close that out. And there is our image right now. And what we'll do is we will run a quick run of Blur Exterminator on this. And if we zoom in here, we can take a look at all of this structure right here. And if we go back to previous, you can see that we added quite a bit by just that little bit of Blur Exterminator that we used. And from this point, this would be another layer that I am going to take into Infinity Photo, or you can use Photoshop or whatever, and we will combine it with this right here. Now, typically inside of PixInsight, what I would do is I would blur this a little bit and use this specifically as our detail layer. We can just go ahead and take a look by using the image blend script and show you kind of what this all is going to look like in the end. So what you would do is first select your color image. So that way you have all of your color information underneath there. And then we are going to select the actual luminance layer. And then you can see that it has layered that over top. We're using the actual screen adjustment down here to do all that. And then we can start to actually play around with these sliders. So if we want to work on what's going on underneath that we can start to adjust these midtones so that kind of brighten things up a little bit if we go up on the midtones here that kind of darkened it a little bit and if you want to maybe we could end up somewhere down here now we can work on the actual opacity like how much of that luminance layer we want to apply 
and we can just kind of like keep bringing it down a little bit uh, if we want to, or we can bring it all the way up and make a very, very huge adjustment. So kind of like that right there, go ahead and save that out. And now that is our combined image. Probably the last thing that we need to do is like, oh man, this thing really looks horrible and washed out. No problem. We can go into the curves tool. We can open up a real time preview and we can just add a little bit of color into this thing and watch this baby just pop right in front of our eyes. We don't have to go super crazy with it. We can just add a little bit of color. If you think there is a little bit too much green in there, we can just pull the green down just a smidge and that's going to crush that close the real time preview. And then we can go back into the image blending script and we can add our stars back into here. And you know, if you're looking for something quick and I mean, there you go. Look at that image right there. Nothing looks out of place. Everything looks good. Got a little bit of artifacting right here for some reason. But when we compare this to the original image that I did, I am pretty sure that you can agree that there is a whole lot more going on inside of this baby right here than in this first attempt that we did months ago. So there you go, guys, a quick, easy example of how you can use luminance to just basically blow up your actual image and combine that with stretching further than you ever have before. And I guarantee that you're going to get lovely results that you are going to be just super happy with. I know I am, and I can't wait to keep on going with this. So we will talk to you guys later. Peace.